Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining me in Sengoku Dynasty, where last time we found this village here. Well, we didn't find the village, but we're, we were working in Segi here. I think it's Se Segi? Segi? Whichever you call it. And we got the bridge started, so that's, yeah, all ready to go. And we also hunted some boar so that we could, I don't know, appease the people here. And we also learned how to make bows. So we got bows now. Well, we got a bow. Um, how is our bow doing? It's alright. I totally forgot that we tried to make multiple bows, but apparently I got interrupted and it stopped making the bows. So, how are we doing on arrows? We are doing alright on arrows. So, we should probably head on down to this next village, which I believe is this one here. It's going to be a bit of a hefty river to cross. So that'll be interesting. So yeah, we're going to run on down there and learn how to do agriculture, I do believe, is what the goal of that all is. Let's probably try and stay on the road. It's a little bit difficult to stay on the roads in the wintertime because they kind of get covered in snow. So yeah, I'll do my best, but I uh, will just probably see you all when I manage to make my way down there. So I'll see you there. Another shrine? Or is this the road? No, this is another shrine. Alright, let's go see. I doubt we have the stuff we need for this shrine, but... We may as well take a look. Yeah, this is much more what you see in anime. There's always a staircase up to the shrine. It's not much of a, a staircase, but there are stairs. I'm sure there's some sort of cultural significance to that. Oh, this is a one we have to build. Okay. We can't do anything here? No. Looks like not. Oh, this is like a graveyard. Yeah. So this is a... Ancestor Shrine, I think is what they call those. Uh, yeah, we're down over here. In case you're wondering, I got a little sidetracked. But, heading off again. Random camp. New location. Oh, that, other, that was just a location we found before. It wasn't an actual build site. So we got some mushrooms. Here, we'll take some mushrooms. Cooked rice. And fat. Sure, we can use that for something. And some corn? Oh, millet. Millet's kind of like corn. We can't even use this? That's so annoying. Alright, where are we at anyway? We are over here. Oh, it is a location we can build. Pretty sure that's a build location. That is further along. That's over here. That's some kind of watchtower is my guess. Is there a good way to get down? Yeah, we could probably get down here without dying. Getting closer. Yeah, and here comes... That's the big river. So can we just ford the river? That was a rabbit. Yep, new... Oh, large bridge. So do we have to build the large bridge first? Or can we just go... See. Yeah, the water isn't very deep. Although I certainly wouldn't want to walk through water in wintertime. Especially not wearing what this guy is wearing. Is this the village? It is the village. Or at least it must be. They got some decent houses going. I guess they're pretty much the same as ours. Um, okay. That was a little quick. Uh, Aratani village discovered. Yes. And what's this over here? Is this something we can have? Yeah. More cooked rice. I'm gonna take... I, oh, we won't stack them, huh? And some berries. We'll take some berries. Why not? Anything else we can have? No. Alright. So, who's around in this village that we can speak to about learning things? Another small bridge. Man, we're finding all kinds of stuff. Yeah, who are you? Good day to you. Uh, what's that lovely smell? Yeah. Saki, my friend. Most delicious. There are better uses for rice than just eating or selling it, you know. Does the village brew its own alcohol? Of course. It's not clear and fancy as the stuff they drink in Kyoto. But it tastes much better, and the people know it. Okay? That, that's why Kyoto brewers block sake from other regions. They want people to drink their horse piss and nothing else. You brew medicines as well? Yes, our healer Tomonos Tomonosuke uh, looks to, for health in the woods in the words of people long dead. Okay, good luck to him. Uh, I prefer to look, in, look for it in the herbs from the salt and marsh to the east, like our ancestors. I don't trust the great physicians from big cities in Ch or China. Alrighty. Didn't somebody else just go by? Yeah, well, there's this guy. Farmer. 
Uh, Yoso, hello. Just look at our fields, okay? I hear farming is a complicated art. Oh yes, with dry crops, it, it's enough to fertilize the field with grass or ashes and count on the rain, but rice? Rice is a different thing. Uh, it has to grow in water. It requires water even before it is sown, okay? In the second month, the seeds have to be soaked before they can go into the soil in the third month. With rice, of course, the soil also has to be special. It's the best when they are clay deposits underneath, which stop the water from... But I'm bothering you, right? Not at all. We need knowledge like that in our village. I'm sorry, I get carried away sometimes. Okay. Well, we're supposed to be learning this stuff, so we wanted you to get carried away. And what is this? Oh, rice soaking vats, I'm assuming. Yeah, so they soak the rice in here. Yeah, I eat a lot of rice, but I definitely have no idea how to grow it, that's for sure. It does seem slightly complicated. You're the one we spoke to already. You're like the medicine person. Where'd that other dude go who had the thing floating over his head? And there's the shrine maiden. Whatever. Shrine priestess. Went this way, I thought. I imagine it's somebody with a thing floating above their head that we gotta talk to. No, that's not the way to go. Yeah, I don't know if I cut the part out in the last video, but it is kind of cool that all your little tracks through the snow... They actually follow your footprints. Kind of like Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know, maybe Red Dead 1. I never played Red Dead 1. But it's obviously not as, you know, as good as Red Dead Redemption. But, you know, it's kind of interesting that they actually took the time to do it. Oh, it's you again. Um, yeah. So you probably... Can I do around here? Does that help? Ah. Uh, if you're looking for work, you could talk to Wakatsuru Suru Nio. Uh, she usually knows what the village needs. Okay. Wakatsuru Nio. That's interesting name. You make it more complicated. Got terrible Gaijin pronunciation, I'm sure. So, I don't see anybody, unless it's... Everybody keeps disappearing. Hey, who are you? Come back here. Um, farmer. Sarume. May the merciful mother watch over you. Are you a worshipper of Kanon? Yes, the Mother of Mercy has a beautiful shrine on the other side of the river. I go there whenever I can. My husband, Dioso, doesn't really understand that, and Ishun, the, the Miko at the Amat Amataseru shrine, gives me that look sometimes. But Kanon, the mother who chose to remain with us out of mercy instead of reaching Buddhahood, she, I trust her. Did you know the whole world worships her? Uh, how so? Even the barbarians from the west, from beyond the sea, they have the strangest customs. They believe in some wild things. But a merchant from Kyoto told me that they pray to the Mother of Mercy. They use some different name, though. Weird people. Uh, okay. That doesn't help us much either. I mean, it's interesting flavor. It's a lot of stuff to put in to a game. Um, you, food carrier. Need something transported to another village. Oh. What do you transport? Uh, food, mainly. To the monastery, but also to other villages. Iwasaki, more than Segi, the forester's village to the south. Uh, could you deliver food to my village? Uh, you're one of the newcomers, aren't you? No, I'm busy enough with the monastery and Iwasaki. Luckily, they don't need that much in Segi. They eat less in Segi? Less, they eat more than us, but not necessarily grain. They know the forest, the roots, the fruits, or the fruit, the nuts. They also hunt, and they're really hungry. Okay. It's just as well. The road to Segi is so bumpy, my back hurts for days after each trip. My wife, Mitsu, says I'm grumpier than. Roads in the valley are bad. Some of them, yes, and some are better. The monastery is doing what it can to improve them. Okay. Better roads mean more commerce, and more commerce means the monks are happier. Why count on the monastery? We should do it together. Um, okay. So that was the end of that conversation. Interesting. Aha! Here's a bunch of people with stuff over their heads. This has got to be where we want to go. Farming trader. Shinta. Need anything? What do you sell? Uh, what don't I sell would be a better question. Here you can find everything a farmer needs. Okay. Tools to work your field, grain to sow. Farming is the noblest of professions. There are many noble professions, but none can equal a zealous farmer. He puts a grain in the ground in spring, it uh, returns to him in autumn, multiplied 10,000 times. Okay. He never fails to fulfill his obligations, he pays his rent on time and his taxes, not like the lazy beggars, always weeping about their fate. Are you serious? Well, a traveling scholar once read these words from a story. The people here laughed, especially at the bit about taxes. But I thought it was beautiful and learned it by heart. The taxes will return one day, mind you. It's better to be prepared. Yeah, taxes are one of those things. Forewoman. A toki. Busy, busy, yes. What is it? 
Uh, what is the name? What do you do? I keep count on every, uh, of everything. How much rice is produced? How much millet is eaten? How much land we need for fields? How many questions I'm asked daily? A lot, I assure you. And on behalf of my husband, Beto, of the village council, I supervise our relations with the monastery. What does the monastery get from the village? Rice, mostly. Under the daimyo, we paid our taxes in rice. People here never ate it. It was reserved for payment. And now you pay taxes to the monks? No, it's a fair exchange. They get food for the monks, we get protection and help with our trade. And a lot of rice is still left for us. Uh, soon we'll have even more. Our surveyor, Hegiro, Hegoro, Hegoro? I don't know. He's looking for iron nearby. When he finds it, I'll have more to count. Hey, yep. We need to find iron by our village. Are you? Yeah, Tomonosuke. Good day. Do you suffer from any ailments? Um, yeah, are you a healer? Indeed I am. I have humbly followed this path for years. First in the service of the Lord. Okay. And then we, when he ordered me to slaughter his own subjects, I turned to them. From the, pal from the palace to a modest village dwelling. Sounds like quite a step down. Uh, not in the slightest. I spent years studying the most sublime Chinese healing arts to cure actual diseases, not an excessive wind after another feast. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, my master, the great healer Manase Dosan, uh, teaches that modesty in life and virtue in ruling are the basic conditions of health. There is neither <clears throat> there is neither modesty nor virtue at the court. One could say my decision was not a question of politics, but a question of health. Now I'm still here, and the Lord's Mansion died of its illness. You can still see the corpse near the lake in the hills to the west. Okay. I thought you were going to give us jobs. Well, what about you? Uh, good day to you. Make sure you don't drink all the sake yourself. Yeah, don't do that. I'll leave some for you, don't worry. Okay. You're not very helpful. And yeah, we talked to you. Shinto, yeah, we talked to you. I don't need anything else today. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we don't need anything else. Do it yourself. Okay. Um, yeah. So, who the heck do we talk to around here? Not you. Is it you? Uh, have you come to pay respects to the goddess? I'm a stranger here. Which goddess do you worship? Uh, Amatis yeah, Amatera Amaterasu, the supreme goddess of the sun. Here in Ar Aratani, she deserves our, pr our particular gratitude because she taught people how to raise crops. I see you know the basics, yes. When Amatasaru uh, sent her brother uh, Tsukuyomi to the uh, the moon to visit Ukimochi, the goddess of sustenance. Ukimochi prepared a feast. Yeah, indeed. And you don't have to interrupt me. She spat on some fish, vomited rice, took food out of her many orifices. That sounds disgusting. She meant well, but Tsukuyomi was disgusted and killed her. This saddened Amater Amaterasu. This is why she no longer wants to see her brother, and the day and night are separated. Uh, Ukemochi's body did not rot, but instead produced food. Rice, different kinds of grains, beans, Amaterasu found, found them and gave them to humans. And so, here we are, farmers in the lush and fertile land. May the goddess give us the har a harvest better than last year. Alright, so that doesn't help us very much either. So, oh, there it is. We gotta find the white ones, right? There he is. Or her? I don't know. Her, yeah. So you are village councilwoman. Hello, dear. Um, yeah, who are you? A woman who had an eventful life and serves on the council of this village. A rare thing, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. My husband, dead these 20 years, was the head of the council. When he passed away, they took me in out of respect for him and pity. Of course, the men of the council give me uh, the less glamorous tasks, getting food on time, scheduling work, and so on. They don't realize that the life of a village depends on such things, not on their dramatic decisions, and I like it that way. And now it's your turn, dear. Uh, why are you here? I'm a refugee who got shipwrecked. I know, I know all that. Rumors spread quickly here, but what do you want from the valley? I want to make it ho a home for people like me. A home for the homeless, a noble cause. But not everybody here likes outsiders. How can I convince the people of Aratani to cooperate? Think about it, dear. How do you convince a farmer? With crops, I guess. There? No. Uh, not too difficult to figure out, is it? But they will also want to know if you're a provider or a leech come to take their food. Alright, so, yeah, farming can be essential for food production. You can start farming by using the hammer to designate land or, or water fields in your village. Unlocking the field recipes may require uh, progressing the main quest. Plant seeds, first you will need to cultivate each field slot with a hoe. Crops will start growing immediately after planting using the seed bag. You can speed up the growth significantly by watering, fertilizing, and weeding each individual slot. Weeds appear after some time, yep. 
though. Grown crops can be harvested either by hand or with a comma sickle. After harvesting, slots can be used again immediately. If you are fast and tend to your crops, you can grow them multiple times each year. Alright, sounds simple enough. A seed bag allows you to plant seeds. Equip it, aim at a cultivated field slot, and perform planting action. Yeah, note the plants require a specific field type, land, or water, and can be planted only in a specific season. Don't worry if you plant uh, before the season ends. The crop will continue to grow in the next season in, unless it's winter. You can craft seed bags on your own using the tailor's workshop or workbench at the tailor's workplace. Okay, so it sounds good. Uh, go to your village, grow some crops, and come back to me with the results. All right. So, yeah, it's looking like time to get back to our village as it is anyway. We may have to actually spend the night here. It's a long trek. Yeah, we're all the way back down here. So, yeah, should we try it? We gotta go there. We're not level 7 yet, though. We probably have to wait for our bridge to be finished. I wish I had a clock of some kind. But there, well, is that thing a clock? Like the little half circle thing? below the, the season thing. Not sure if it is or not. Well, I will head on back to the village, but if it gets too dark, I might end up stopping and just making a like a lean-to thing to sleep in. So I will see you all when I, I get to where we end up for the night. And we're back. So I also realized while we were running that we actually reached level 7 of our dynasty, but, well, we actually reached level 8. Yep, Dynasty Legend is 8, so we could have gone down to the Monastery, but I almost think it might be a good idea to hold off, because I imagine we're going to get a big influx of people, and I don't know that we have the food to really cover that quite yet. So we're going to take a nap um, for yeah, 8 hours, and then, is it? No, it's still winter time. We're not going to be able to do anything, are we? As far as farming, because yeah, it said something about winter. You can't really do any farming. Well, that's unfortunate. But maybe we should have just run on down to the monastery and just slept down there. That's way down there. Yeah, it is. Can we lay out the field at least? Um, the fields were over here. Maybe we should do that. Just make this into a field. And maybe this over here. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. So how do we lay out fields? No, not with that. We have a hammer? Yes, we have a hammer on. So the hammer, that do the fields. I don't remember anything about what she said. We have to get a hoe. I think we have to get a hoe. So buildings, village structures, farming. There we go. Okay. So, uh, water field and land field. Yeah, that is it. Okay. So we can just place it wherever. It's not like Medieval Dynasty with snaps. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. This lady's got her freaking thing right here. Probably just... Oh, do you just do it by square? Or... Um, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So, something like that ought to be good to start with, right? So, there. Get millet 20. You can grow it in your land field. Do we have millet, though? Do you just plant? Do you not need seeds to plant? We do need a bag, so let's go make us a bag. Oh, did we? What's going on here? What did I start over here? Is this a house that I started and never built? What's going on? Small house. Uh, a must have. I don't recall starting. Oh, I do recall starting it now. Yeah. Guess we never finished it. Must have got distracted. So, tailor shop. Yeah, we need small bags. Accessories, water fields, seeds. Ba yeah. So, seed bag. Um, we need millet. Right? Said millet. Um, yeah, quests. Rice and men. Build a water field. Oh, build a water field. Well, I did lay out, in my head, I laid out two spots for fields. Got this one, and then 
Yeah, probably just right next to it. Get this out of the way. We didn't bring our shovel with us, did we? Oh, we do have a shovel with us. Um, let's mine it. Yeah, iron pickaxe. That was, wait, what number was that on? Seven? Yeah, get this out of the way. I assume that when we put the field over it, it's just going to go, like, the resource location is just going to go away. So then our hammer back on. And where was it? Uh, village structures, was it? Yeah, farming water field. Oh, we need clay. I have clay. So, what was this? 20, I think? Thereabout? So we need 20 clay, because it was one per, right? Is that what it said? Yeah, water field, one per, yeah, and 20. We got 30 stone, so 20 should be good. That's, what, 4 by 5 Maybe we could do 25. So it's nice and square. The other one looks square, so it must be 25, because 20, I don't think you can do a square with 20. Um, yeah, and 25 is a stack, so that's perfect. Yeah, we have enough stone. So let's get the water field laid out. And I have picked up some rice. I don't know if it's the planting kind of rice. I assume so, because it doesn't say cooked. We picked up some cooked rice as well. But regular rice, I would imagine, is for planting. If not, we're in trouble. So, yeah, water field. Um, can't see where it's going. We just, like, bam? No? Can't see. Able placement. Eligible placement. Characters blocking placement. What? I'm confused. I don't see the little thing. Like, yeah, there's the thing. Now I can see it. So, here? Character is blocking placement. Eligible. Can't see it, though. Oh, I can just barely see it. Um, oh no. Um, can we, yeah, demolish. That's not good. Yeah, I can't see, let me, maybe if we start in the corner over here. I can go get more materials if need be. Uh, farming, this one. Yeah, there we go. Now I can see it over here in the shadow. So, like, here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now... Something like that. Not place. What? Why not? Um, green there. There we go. All right. Well, that's unfortunate that it's not quite. I mean, that's pretty lined up. I would say, but it does snap a little bit. I think. So, did we not have enough materials? Was that the deal? Yeah, I think because I, I used one up, and I don't think you get it back. Let me go get some more clay. We'll lay out. Hopefully it, it just joins up when you lay out another strip. Otherwise I'm going to be annoyed. We can always go get more clay, I suppose. I don't know that we can plant yet anyway. We'll just take a, a whole other stack. We'll put you back. And then stones. We only need five, but there we go. But we've definitely got enough. We need somebody to go get us clay and stone and stuff. Did we build that? Um, no, we built the hunting lodge, and then that's the gathering lodge. That's the one we need. I don't know if they do clay, though. Alright, so... Um, yeah, back to farming that one. And then, yeah, can we join it up to this? Does that... Does that work? Yeah. Um... No. No, it does not. Well, that's annoying. Well, I suppose we're just stuck with it like that then, huh? We have to demolish it to redo it. Alright. Yeah, that's going to annoy me. So I'm going to go get some more clay, I think. Or do we have... We have enough, don't we? Um, yeah, 25 and 25. Yeah, so... Yeah, we're just going to redo this because that's going to annoy me. It's a huge waste, but yeah, I want them to be square. <laughs> All right, try again. So you go, yeah, right. Oh no, it does not snap. Okay, there, that. Then I really can't see it. I can kind of see it there. 
so yeah it turns red there so there there we go and I uh, don't think I want it quite that close but that's gonna have to do because we're yeah it's the same width at least just not the same length well that'll work oh we needed to make a bag that's what I totally forgot to do isn't it I went over here for something didn't I and then never made the bag sounds like something I would do did we make the bag I don't think I made the, oh I did make the bag okay we made oh we got a millet one and we have a rice bag but the cooked rice I don't think that's gonna work right spring summer autumn yeah so we're gonna have to wait until next season was there anything we else we really need to do I don't think that there is should probably eat our meat before that goes bad. We can just advance the season. So, do you have anything going? You just that means you're a villager, right? That thing over your head. I think that's all that means. What's going on? Do you have anything to say to us? Uh, how are you doing? Life's not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't expect it would say yeah. Okay, so that's the same thing you've been saying. Nothing new from her. Well, I guess we may as well finish off this house and possibly the uh, other thing over there. So yeah, I'm going to get those done and then probably just advance the season. So yeah, I'll see you after I get these guys going. All right. Well, we got the house done and we also got the forager's hut done. Although I'm not sure if we need to add anything to the forager's hut because it's done. But yeah, you can see I got the hammer on. It doesn't say we need to add any structures inside so i haven't checked it yet but if we go here so jobs is the forager's hut um okay so yeah it's just the collection stuff so i guess we'll want grass for sure because we use a lot of that probably the gobo a lot of that and wasabi and what else mm hmm Maybe yellow chrysanthemum. I think we use that a fair bit. And yeah, we don't have anybody to assign there. Although, yeah, you have not been seeming to get me any logs or bamboo. Maybe she has, and it's just really slow. I don't know. But the season's about to end anyway, which is good, because we can't plant anything until next season. So I suppose we should just go ahead and end the season, I would imagine. Do we do that by just sleeping, or is there another way to do it? Why are you in our house? What's going on? How you doing? Uh, yeah, still same stuff. Okay. Alright then. So, suppose... Not really anything else for us to do. Yeah, we got plenty of food. Although, we should probably go ahead and eat as many of these as we can, because yeah, they're going stale. This one, yeah, should be good till next season. Um, does the stuff stay better? I wonder if we put it in the actual food storage. Ah, over here. Does it stay better longer? I wonder. Let's try it just to see. We should probably put these. I just oh, of course you're not the same. Um, whatever you call it, meal time or whatever. Oh, did you use up? No. The rice, yeah, we want the rice on us. Is that... Okay, so that stays fresh for a while. And then the millet. Yeah, we want to keep the millet on us as well, I think. I still have not um, gotten the bag. So let's go make a bag just real quick. What does the bag take? Probably leather. And that's made over here. So bags are yeah oh no we did make the bag that's right okay oh we need rice to make the bag okay so we got a bag we only have 15 rice so we can't make a bag anyway okay then so i suppose can we make anything out of that cooked rice yeah this this needs Gobo and any herbs, yeah. Um, no. 
don't have anything that uses cooked rice. I sworn we had something that did. Maybe not. Yeah, there's no other menu. Alright then. Well, I suppose I'll drop a save real quick. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next season. So, um, is this how we do it? How do we do it? That just says sleep. Can we just go to the next season here? I thought it said there was a way to advance the season anytime. Maybe not. Oh, she is getting happier. Okay, good. I guess we'll just try sleeping, because, yeah, I don't see any other way to do it. No, nope, that literally... Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So, I don't know why they bother with that, but, yeah, I guess I guess we do have enough food to get more people here. So, except... except. Oh, we got another cutscene, do we? We always get a cutscene when the season changes. I don't remember if we do or not. But possibly. And we built the bridge. Yeah, we did that. We built the other bridge. Yep, looks like we built the other bridge. Cool. So we got two bridges done. Whoa, what's that? Where the heck are we? Um... Okay. Did it dump us over here because we were the one assigned to build the bridge? That must be it, isn't it? We can't actually do anything? What? This is where the hunter dude was, wasn't it? Um, hello? Where are we? We are... No, we don't need that. Where the heck am I? Oh, yeah, over here in Segi. That's what I thought. And we dropped all of our food. Dang it. That's not going to be a good plan. Well, I suppose. What do we have on us? I should have, yeah, bows. I made another axe. That was probably a good idea. And we have this thing. So we are sort of alright for food. But I imagine what we should do is just head off to request from those dude boys. Since we're all the way down here. Um, yeah that they yeah so this not done that's the one we were on why the heck are we all the way down here I don't understand that at all oh well I guess we shall oh no the bridge is that the one that's the one we built okay yeah but this is probably the next one we should build what is this that's the gravesite place that we found and this was the watchtower thing so yeah, we're going to head over to here, which is the monk place, the monastery, I guess, and see if we can get them to let us have our people come. So I'll probably just see you all when I get there, or, you know, if I end up fighting something interesting, I might end up running into some boar, which would be all right, because we probably need some meat. But I heard something. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right, so we're here at the bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the thing, the, uh, yeah, the project thingamabobber, this one, yeah, special project, we want you in here, should be good, yeah, I got the bamboo, this, there was that bamboo forest, so we'll go ahead and put this thing up just real quick, as so we may as well, that way we can get this bridge going, I imagine it can't hurt us to have more bridges. Need, what five stones and what else six logs ten planks okay lots of stones right here and I'll be back with the logs all right is that enough yeah that's enough logs and should be enough for planks too looks like anyway they're deciduous trees though so I don't know if it's a different amount for deciduous trees or if they give you the same amount of logs oh man Here we go, and ten, perfect. That will get us this thing built, and then we can put the leftovers in it. Oh, you need all kinds of stuff for this one. Alright then. Oh wait, 
Yeah, E add yeah, two stones and then add some sticks. Whoops. Yep. And we have some straw. Yeah. I don't have any straw on me. That sucks. Alright, so yeah, lots of planks and logs. So I'll be back with that stuff. See you in a minute. Alright, well this is gonna take a whole lot longer than I thought it would. I mean yeah, that is a ton of stuff. You can see, like, I chopped down, well, a few trees, but it's going to take more than just one day, and I want to make it to the that one place, yeah, the monks over here. So, yes, we shall be... Oh, how much did we need? Do we have everything we need? Uh, get price 20. Okay, so we don't have 20, we have 15. We just found it somewhere. And then I guess 20 millet we needed. So we gotta find five more rice. Maybe we can find some on another crashed cart around this area. That'll get us this quest done. I'm gonna take just a quick look around. Not too much. Or maybe we'll find one on the way to those other dudes. Pull out our bow just in case. I forget where that one was. It was like over here that we found it, wasn't it? Can we just steal some rice from you? Does that count? <laughs> Wait a minute. Weren't there just people in this field? Just sworn I just saw people in that field. Interesting. Yeah, do you have any rice? No, of course you don't. But we will take your fish. That way we can eat some stuff. And yeah, our inventory was not set up to be down here doing this, but we just got transported against our will. So, yeah, not really my fault. I mean, that's what I'm going to claim anyway. So I guess I will see you all either at whatever cart we find or at the monastery. Well, I have found another campsite. Maybe this one has some rice? No, of course not. Raw fish and... Iron knife. No rice. Ooh. Alright. On to the monastery. We will find another one. Or else maybe we can buy some. We should be able... We've got some coin. Right? A little bit. Be enough for five rice, I would imagine. But that monastery is no joke. It's way the heck up there. I wonder if we should... Well, I want to follow the path. Just because that's probably where they're going to put random crashed carts and things so yep, we'll continue onwards discovered a new location is that the monastery oh no that is a build site cool more stuff to build probably watchtowers at least i would imagine that's what you would put in this location and that other one we found yeah it looks like a watchtower to me still no rice though some our eggs take some eggs and sticks and the feathers we can drop if we need this the slot oh no we not get up to the monastery until we build this bridge wait a minute how do we even build the bridge or is this like a double build site let's go see what the sign says I'm gonna cheat my way up there if I have to. This one, yeah, Watchtower Special Project. Alright, but yeah, the bridge, like, that's gonna be... There's no sign for it. Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, so you have to get over there. Okay, so there's gotta be a way to get up this way. I imagine these guys should be able to... I mean, they get tithings, not really taxes. Oh, there's a different path. Okay. Never mind, I was on the wrong road. That sounds like something I would do. Alright, so on we go to the monastery. This is a nice forest. The lawns are very well manicured. I don't know who's out here mowing them, but somebody's definitely taking care of this area. Unless that's just how grass grows in Japan. Nope, we'll just get to this height and call it good. What's that noise? These things just all make that noise? guess so. So then, 
Where is the monastery? Random hill. It's gotta be up here. This is a freaking heck of a path, though. Give him that. Yep, it's way up there. Oh, we were right there. Cool. So then, who do we talk to? You're a beggar of some kind. Welcome, I am Chachi. Um, yeah, can you care spare three coins? They say it's good to help the less fortunate. I uh, see that you took me for a beggar. I'm no beggar. I offer a path to enlightenment. I'm in, in the form of a riddle. Okay. I'm sure you agree I'm not asking for much when I'm asking for an offering, so... Do you want to hear a riddle? It's only three coins I'm asking. Ah, eh, sure, why not? Listen then. Two people embark on a great journey. One of them has a well-developed plan to be followed to the letter. The other goes where their feet will carry them. Which of them is more likely to reach the destination? Um... What's the destination? Because, yeah, two people embark on a great journey. One of them has a well... yeah. Um, the first one, I suppose? Ah, yes, you're right. But what happens to your plans when you get shipwrecked? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for your offering. It will be remembered. But was I right or wrong? Confused? Good. The Eye of Truth is opening. Yeah, that's not really a riddle. That's more of a question. And yeah, if you have a plan and you follow it and it works, then you get there faster than somebody who's just aimlessly wandering. What are you? Exotic goods trader. Anything caught your eye, what do you sell? Nothing less than the assistance of a difficult journey to the pure land of Amida Buddha, dear pilgrim. What kind of assistance? That depends. For example, what could uh, get this juzu? Prayer beads. For every bead on the string, you say the Nambutsu, your declaration of faith in Amida Buddha. Okay. The juzu I sell here are special, though. They Not one string, but two. When you complete all beads on the first one, you move to the next bead on the other one and start over. See? That's a lot of beads. <laughs> All the better. I was. It was invented by Awanasuke, a disciple of our founder Honen. They say Awanasuke or Awanosuke. Awanosuke wasn't too wasn't too bright. Uh, some made fun of him, but Master Honen uh, chastised them. He said Awanasuke's uh, Nambutsu was worth as much as his own. You don't have to be brilliant to get the pure land. To get to the pure land, food for thought. That okay. Well, we don't want any prayer beads. We just want to talk to the monk guys, I think. Right? Yeah, up there. So there's a lot of people here at the monastery. Warrior monk. Hello, outsider. You're dressed a bit different from the other warriors I've met. Uh, less fancy, you mean? Yes, and I'm proud of that. The followers of the Pure Land focus on the important stuff, not on fancy dress. I'm a, I'm a local, you know. I worked as a farmer for years. I never used a weapon until the First Rebellion. When Enjiro was killed, I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Then I met people from the temple, learned about Pure Land. And then I knew I could be anything, a monk, a warrior, or both. Uh, we may seem a bit more ramshackle than the other warriors, but we are even more disciplined and determined. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem to help a whole lot. Seems like he sells... To oh, yeah, you have to push F to get the trading menu. So where are these freaking monks I got? This guy. This is the guy I gotta talk to. you, Right? I mean, he's got the thing over his head. So, Abbot, yeah. Greetings. Jorin G. Temple welcomes everyone, as everyone can rely on Amida's grace and hope for salvation. Namu Amida Butsu. Okay. I take it you are followers of Honjanji. Honganji? Honganji. Uh, why, yes, this is a branch temple of the mighty school of Honganji. I am the Abbot. You seem new here, so let me explain some things. Where other schools offer complicated rituals available to, to the wealthy and privileged, we only ask you, repeat these words, Namu Amida Butsu. They are the same, but you are a slave or a lord. Be you a slave or a lord. They let your life flow in accordance with Buddha Amida's powerful grace. I came here to tell you I have started to rebuild the burned village. You did well to come here. Right now, establishing new villages is forbidden. But technically speaking, you are not breaking the law because the burned village never ceased to be. We could frown on sidestepping the law like this, but it is the right thing to rebuild a village filled with memories of suffering, which distract from following the proper way. Namu Amida Butsu. The temple will be watching you, but you may proceed with what you have started. May it help others find peace in reliance on Amida's grace. My kinsmen and other people harmed by the war would gladly settle in the village. Um, okay. Yeah, this is a promise I gave to them when I left. So I ask humbly, ask, so I... I also humbly ask your permission to send for them. While well, you choose not to invite the refugees before consulting me, you wanted to be guided by Amida's grace first. This is the proper way. 
Word has also reached us that you have worked for the benefit of the valley. This is why I grant my permission. I believe that, uh, guided by you, these new settlers will help us all in these difficult times. I humbly thank you. You have allowed me to invite my compatriots into the valley, but they will need a place to live. Will you allow me to build another village? Your first village prospers and is it, its prosperity also affects the temple. You've done well. I shall entrust you with a second village bell. May Amida's grace flow through your actions. I humbly thank you. If I may, would you allow me to build two villages? Um, okay, Willie. Finish one journey before you start a new one. Your first villages and the rest of the valley need your attention. There will come a time to ask for another bell, but you're not yet prepared. So we're going to have to come all the way back up here. Dang. And that is one heck of a hike. Well, in that case, you know what? I think we're going to end this episode here. It's probably gone on for long enough. I'm going to be cutting a lot out. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, I thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.